What's up, coders, and welcome to episode four of our Gmail service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to search through your inbox. So there's one method to do this, and it's called search, so very easily named. The required parameter is your query, and the two optional parameters are start and max. So let's jump into the code and learn how to search our inbox programmatically. The method search is accessed directly from our Gmail app parent class. So let's first type in Gmail app and then hit dot search. So we have two options again. The second one is if we would like to include those optional parameters or optional arguments. We have start and max, but let's just do the first option right here. So search query. So query is going to be a string and it's basically going to be the exact same thing that you would type into this search bar right here. So let's say we wanted to search for YouTube and let's actually first store that in a constant and we'll call the constant Q for query. We'll log that constant out and see what we get. So we'll save it, we'll run it and it ran, great. Let's look at our logs and we can see that we get four different Gmail threads. So let's just verify that real quick and say YouTube and it will indeed have four different threads right here. So this this method search and even right here when we search it is very very uh, diverse and generalizing. So what I mean by that is that it will look through everything in the email. So notice how this really doesn't have this email right here it popped up in my search results but it doesn't really have anything to do with YouTube right it's from David the Weiss this was sent in a previous episode it just says this is a test email but then if you look at the attachment and notice this is a PDF if you look at the PDF attachment you'll see YouTube right here and that is what Google or Gmail is picking up on and then it will display it in your results so let's say we didn't really want this broad of a search. What we can do is we can say, if you don't know about these, these are a little bit more advanced search parameters. Say from, let's say we only wanted the emails that were from YouTube. We can hit save. And now look, this is a Gmail specific query that says from colon YouTube. So this will also work in our code. So if we just hit OK, that's fine. And then we search from colon YouTube, save it, run it, view logs. And we're waiting on the logs right now. But this, this right here, so when we say from, this can get very advanced. Say has words, say comment. And we can run that. So now this is your query. So you would just type this in. You can learn all of this or you can just say manually manually type all of this in and then see what query that is. And then if this is something that you automate daily, you can just type it in in your search. But anyways, see we have three different threads and that's exactly what we got from this query. So this is working. Great. So let's just hit OK for now. And now let's let's look at some of these optional parameters. So let's say we wanted the, let's just look at the method again, actually. So there is a parameter or there's an argument for start and then there's an argument for max. So this is just like how we were getting the inbox threads in a previous episode. The start is going to be what instance, like the first time we get from YouTube, should we store that in our query or not? And then, so this is zero index. So let's say the first time we hit YouTube, start start querying or start recording that and then the second parameter is going to be how many times do you want to record every time we find an email that says from YouTube how many times should we include that in our little constant here Q so let's just say one for now we only want one of those threads we want to start the first time we find it and then we're only going to include that one time so we'll hit run Take a look at our logs. And we are waiting for the logs. 
But I mean, we kind of know what this is going to be, right? It's just going to be, here it is. So it's just going to be one Gmail thread because that's what we specified. And it's going to be the first one that it picks up on. So it will be this one right here. I know we can't tell because it, it, all it returns is just Gmail thread. But since we said start is the index of zero, it's going to start with this one right here. So this thread right here is exactly what this is. Great guys, I hope you learned a lot from the search method. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.